Mr. Parker said what? <laughs> oh, hi. How's it going? I'm Mr. Grady. And this is my friend Rocky. Now, we were just talking about Oak Ridge and all the fun times we had at school. And how much we miss it. What's that? He's just a rock? He's not alive? Come on. One second. You over here? Hey, listen. I know Rocky isn't real. I know he's not alive. I'm just pretending. Ever since school closed, I've, I've just been so lonely. So I, I made some new friends. This whole experience has got me thinking though. What does it mean to be alive? What's the difference between a living and non-living thing? To find out the answers to these questions, I wanted to go ask the expert, one of the only living things in this house. So what is the difference between a living and non-living thing? Let's see. It turns out that all living things have three characteristics that separate them from non-living things. They need nutrients, like food and water. They can grow and they can reproduce, which is a fancy way of saying they can make more of themselves. So plants drop seeds to make new plants and people and animals have babies. Let's take a moment to look at some extremely cute baby pictures. I wonder what living things you have in your home. Get someone to help you find at least three living things that are in your home right now. It could be any living thing. It could be a plant, it could be a person, it could be a spider, it could be a centipede, it could be a bird that got, that got stuck inside. It could be a lion, it could be a bat, it could be a bat man, it could be a bat woman. Count how many things you have in your home that are living and then try to count how many things that are non-living. I bet the number is very high. That's all I have for you today. If you do find some living things in your house, please take a picture. Uh, or if you make some new friends, take a picture of that too and send it to this email down here. All right, say goodbye guys. Go on, say goodbye, don't be rude.